Hi, I'm Pastor Kurt, and this is your five-minute Bible study. Today, we're going to look at Mark chapter 8, verses 22 through 26. This is a scene when Jesus heals a man who's blind. And at first, that might not seem like that big a deal. We hear about Jesus healing people all the time. What's so special about this particular scene? Well, as we read this scene, we see something very unique. This is the only healing scene when Jesus has to do it twice. At first, Jesus tells this guy to come here. Jesus heals him and says, tell me what you see, or tell me if you can see. And the guy says, well, I can see, but it looks like trees walking around. It's all fuzzy. Jesus then does it again, and then the guy can see clearly. Now, why in the world would Jesus have to do this twice? All the other times Jesus has healed people, it's worked the first time. Was this just an example of how Jesus didn't always get it right? No. I think what's going on is that this scene here is connected to the other scenes around it. One of the things that often happens when we read the Bible is we read just one little snippet at a time. We get like one little scene, and we forget the larger narrative where that scene falls. It's like watching just a scene of a movie and not knowing the whole story of the movie. You get kind of lost. You forget, how does this story connect with what's going on around it? Well, that often happens when we read the Bible, so it's important to know the larger context of what's going on here. This particular healing scene of this blind man acts as a bookend for, with another healing scene of another blind man that happens later on in chapter 10. So if we look at these two healing stories, notice that they're both about healing blind people. Then we think about, hmm, what's going on here? In particular, what's going on between these two passages? Well, as we read along and notice what happens between today's passage and that later one, we'll see that there's a number of examples of when people don't quite understand what Jesus is doing. They don't quite get it. They don't quite see the fact that Jesus had to heal this guy twice, or that he had to do the healing twice, reminds us that sometimes we don't always get it the first time. Sometimes we don't always understand what Jesus is doing right away. Sometimes it takes some time. Sometimes we need more help in order to see. Maybe we sort of kind of start to understand, but it's kind of like seeing trees walking. It's all fuzzy. We think we see people, but we're not quite sure. We think we see what Jesus is up to, but we're not quite sure. That's what's going on here in this text. This isn't about Jesus not being able to get it right the first time. This is more about us. This is more about us who don't always understand the first time, who don't always see the first time. Think about your life of faith. Think about how you've seen God work in your life. Maybe you don't always see what's going on right away. Maybe you kind of sort of get a sense of what God's up to, but only later can you kind of see more clearly what God was doing, right? When we get this scene of Jesus healing this blind man, it's a reminder to us that sometimes we don't always see the first time around. But the good news is that Jesus continues to work on us and work with us. It's not like Jesus gave up on this guy, like, oh, sorry, that's all I can do for you. I guess you're going to walk around seeing things fuzzy from now on. No, Jesus didn't give up on him. And Jesus doesn't give up on you either. Jesus wants to help you see. He wants to help you understand. So 
Later on, at the end of this scene, we see that the guy does see clearly, just as when Jesus works in your life, that he can help you understand too. It might not happen right away, but you'll get there. Jesus continues to work with you, continues to work on you, and continues to work for you. There's your five-minute Bible study for the day. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.